Hey, sun's come out. Bit of super, bit of sun. See if anyone jumps on. I'll have a little wander around the garden in a minute. First of all, let's turn this camera around and we'll start doing the boring stuff first. Eh? Hey, hey. Dahlia's here, slugs have been loving them. Some gladioli. Planted this this year. Hey, Arena, right? James? Planted this for the pollinators, wildflowers and all in there. It's usually working anyway. Do some boring bits first then. Got some nice uh, beef tomatoes under there growing. They're coming along nicely. There's a red robin doing well. More beef tomatoes under there. And if you don't even see, I'll try and just get in there. All my cherry tomatoes, look. Hundreds of them. Everywhere they are. Doing well, doing well. These are the body snatchers. You can see pods coming everywhere on here now. If you get into it, here's the white ones at the back. You can see a couple there. All was doing well. Carrots, be pulling them for dinner soon. Celery. And we got Roma tomatoes here. Black beauties. Doing alright. These are like this pepper cream. There's some pods coming through on here now. See up there. Another one there. Another pepper cream. Got lots of flowers. Sugar is stripy, nice looking plant. Flowers just starting. The odd pod. Then we got another sugar rest stripy. See plenty of pods coming on, yeah. Doing well. Here's my first sunflower come out there, look. Hey, hey. Right, into the Rokotos now. now. These are doing very well. As you can see, some nice pods there. They are everywhere in amongst you somewhere, if you can find them. Oh, slugs been into that one, look. They've been my main only problem this year, slugs, see? Slugs and snails getting into the in pods. Troop of hedgehogs I want. There's a couple more there, doing well that. And there, see them all. Well, now this is my strange manzano. That it's bizarre. I don't know if you can see the difference in green, but it's like a really light green mixed in with a dark green. But the pods, there's loads of pot, little pods on here, but they don't look manzano to me. And I pulled, I pulled these seeds out of a manzano I grew last year, which is very strange. You can see a couple of little pods coming. Bigger pods. Strange, very strange. Here's the turbo pube. And this is throwing out pods everywhere. They will go an orange colour. Right, rain starting, before I get in the tunnels. Oh, it's aubergine, look, just flowering out. Let's stick that up. Try my best to show you in here, guys. But as you can see, it's turned into a bit of a jungle. This is my unknown super hot. There, was, there is a few pods on there, but they're going to be quite big. You can see that one down there. Fair old size, I don't know what it's going to be. My scotch bonnet. Strange shapes on these as well. Now throwing out pods. Yeah, it just showers, Irina. Just coming and going. Sun comes out and a lovely, nice shower. This is my charapita here. As you can see, there's flowers everywhere on it. There are signs of some little pods, very little pods. But flowers everywhere on there. These plants are taking off now. But hopefully, we'll see some pods. This is a KHMF2, which is going to be an odd one. You can see there's a little pod there. I've got a couple more down in here. 
we can see it. Zoom down in there. There's a couple of runts at the back, but they're growing well now. But I don't know if I'll see pods on them. This plant is superb. This is a Thai dragon. Let's stand back a bit. Really big plant. And as you can see, there's pods everywhere on there. They're starting to do well. Pods everywhere in there. This is a Calico. You can see there's black, nice black pods on here. Lovely plant though, with the variegated leaves on them. Uh, that's a Peach Ghost Cross, I believe. See, they, all the plants look really healthy, doing well. There's a Pink Tiger there, lovely plant. No pods yet, but flowers appear in. There are my two bell peppers. I can get under here. There are quite a lot of bells under there. Just waiting for the slight hint to turn the colour. And then I can pull some off then. But there's a lot of them in there. Then we got the two B and Q ones, which could be anything. Again, great plants. Nice size. As you can see, this one got quite a lot of pods on it. I wouldn't have said it was bonnet, maybe. I don't know. See, nice like amount of pods on them, and there's there's pods in here on the bottom. You see, but this is totally different. It meant to be the same plant, <clears throat> totally different. Much darker green on these ones. Here's a space chili, another plant doing very well. As you can see, there's pods everywhere in there. See them all down in there, rammed with pods. And my Turkish sweet pepper. Yeah, it looks a bit more like Jamaican red, that's what I'm thinking. These are lovely little pods, snacking pods. You can see there's plenty of them in there. And the submarine, just the amount of runts I have pulled off this thing is unbelievable. But now we are starting to see full size pods. One in there. They are starting to come out now. So this plant will be loaded because the flowers. I don't know if you can see it under there, but the amount of flowers on is incredible. But again, lovely plant. Then we got some more small tomatoes. Doing well. And there's a star kiss hiding in there. Doing well. So, all in all, not too bad. Now, I will try my best to get in here, by people. But as you can see, it is a jungle. Right, this is the awesome plant. I can't wait for this one to start. This is a B9 BPO F1. I've pulled loads of runs off here. It's just signs of starting to get the bigger pods. There's one there, look. Like a ghost-shaped type variety. And there's quite a few now. They're just starting to come through. So, fingers crossed. If this starts podding up, there'll be hundreds on there. And we got our EYR F1. Again, all the plants are looking excellent. Is a pink tiger again. Another one of my favourites here, which is a Reaper Cross Clavo. Lovely plant, really dark stems and then green leaves. So there are some pods about just poking through. There's another one down there. Now, if this gets going, this is a, the yield on this I had off this two years ago was incredible. Try my best to get in yet. Then we got the. Uh, Yorkshire Bargast, Super Hot Beast, and the Pimenta Diamar. Right. Doing well. Then we got some more monster plants. This is a Peach Maruga. There are pods in there somewhere. Next to that is the Death Spiral. There are pods in there somewhere. 
some wet. This one then is another bonnet. As you can see, all underneath is loaded with pods, doing well. Yellow bonnet, I think it's meant to be. Doing well. Then we got the Fatali Gourmet Jigsaw. That was just starting to come on it now. A lovely plant again. Then we got the Peach Ghost Jammy. And the Yellow Pixie. Next to that then, another monster plant. We got the 7 GPN. And there are some nice pods about in here somewhere. There's two there. See them? There's loads in here somewhere. If you could look, delve deeper into there. But a nice dark leaf variety again. And we got purple Comstock. Yucatan Habanero. White Putralopia. So you've all just got flowers on now, so open. This is another nice plant, which is the BBG7 Cross Naga Apricot. One just turning there, look, look an orange colour. But the bigger pods just starting to come through now, nice nice pods. Should be an up one. And then hiding in the corner, we have Death Spiral. But all in all, in the jungle of plants, they're doing very well. Right pods on your Maruga. Huh? Yeah, well, I've had a couple of small ones, but nothing, uh, nothing too big. But yeah, I'm going to have to be on my hands and knees crawling in here in a week or two. But all good fun. <laughs> right then, people. See you all again soon. Hopefully with more some ripe pods. That'd be nice and we get eating some, innit? Right, see you all soon. Bye.